Hey, it's Monica, broker and owner of People First Realty. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel. Here to give you some tips today on how to use the first time home buyer grants to get your first home. Some of the things that you probably will never hear anybody tell you about first time home buyer grants, stuff that you need to know before you get started shopping. So stay tuned. People. Down payment assistance programs can be great. However, if you're in a hot market, you need to understand how they work so that you can best utilize them to get your goal accomplished. Okay, you have to be strategic. So here's the deal. When you, when you apply for a home buyer grant, typically you're gonna be applying with agency A over here. And there's gonna be another entity, the lender, who is gonna be over here, who is gonna make your mortgage loan possible. Both of these entities are gonna speak with one another um, about getting your loan done, but they're gonna each have their own set of underwriting guidelines, rules and regulations that you're gonna have to follow, which is why it's super important that you have your paperwork in order and everything is everything when it comes to your paperwork. What you're gonna find in home buyer grants is either a nonprofit entity or a state or some other government agency making this down payment assistance money available. When they make that money available to you, they're gonna require of you several things. Because a lot of times those grants mean that you get the money, um, but then you also have to do something on the back end. In some programs you have to do volunteering, in other programs you just have to stay in the house for so many years and then they'll forgive it. So from either extreme, it's gonna depend on the, on the actual program as to what that giving back looks like. Either. Okay, so the next thing you need to understand about home buyer grants is how the demand for the grant program could impact your ability to be competitive when making offers on property. All right, so what do I mean by that? Well, sometimes there's some programs that have so much demand, so many people want these down payment assistance funds that there's a lot of people applying for the funds and the staff usually at these agencies that offer these grant programs isn't very big. And a lot of times it's very small as a matter of fact. I used to work at a nonprofit so I'm very familiar with having a lot of people wanting something from you and only having a few people there to be able to facilitate all of the demand. So that in and of itself sometimes can create what we call a bottleneck in the pipeline where it's just a little bit of a delay. Not always, this is not always the case. Um, a lot of uh, home buyer grant programs, down payment assistance programs can work right along with your lender and get you done in 30 days. So I don't wanna say that that's not possible. However, in some cases you will have this, uh, this situation where because of this demand, there is a little bit of a bottleneck in the agency or nonprofit or whoever it is um, getting your file to the, to the end. And what that does is, it creates a perception in a seller's mind of, oh, do I wanna deal with this? And you're, if you're wondering, well, how is the seller even gonna know I'm using a down payment assistance program? Well, they will know because it's gonna be probably a part of your pre-approval process. So, so when it comes to being competitive in a seller's market, when you're using your um, first time home buyer pro programs, your down payment assistance programs, you wanna really understand the rules and the regulations of that program. They will give you guidance and they will give you a real estate professional guidance as to how many days the contract needs to be written for, whether they can get it done in 30 days or 45 days or whatever. Those conversations need to be had at the very beginning of the process so that you can be strategic, especially in a hot market. You wanna be able to understand what your parameters are before you get out there and start making offers and probably getting disappointed. So the first but at any rate, my point being is if that program is saying, hey, you know, we're, we're, we're a little behind, it's gonna be about 30, 45, it's gonna be about 45 days that you'll need to write your contract for when you find the house of your dreams. Well, if you're in a hot market and you've gotta write a 45 day contract, then you're gonna kind of be at a disadvantage already because you're gonna have people, multiple offers, you're gonna have people that are gonna be offering cash, offering quick closes. And when it's a seller's market like that, you really don't have a lot of room, you know, you can't really, unless you write a compelling letter and do all these other things, which you can do. Um, but typically in a hot market, the seller is probably gonna go with the highest and best and quickest um, for them, you know, not always, but most of the time. So the reality of it is, is if you're dealing with a home buyer program that is telling you we're a little bit behind or telling your agent, hey, we're, we're gonna need you to make sure you, you write a, a 45 day contract instead of a 30 day contract, then you probably wanna to go to the next thing, which I think is actually the best thing if you're gonna do that in a hot market, which is focus on new construction, okay? 
My recommendation, if you're gonna do home buyer grant programs in a hot market, is to focus on new construction. New construction is perfect for the first time home buyer who is buying in a relatively hot competitive market. Why? Because the builder has time. The builder probably isn't, hasn't even started on the house yet. So it gives you all the time in the world to get your things together, get your pre-approval, go through the down payment assistance program, which probably is gonna require you to go through a class, probably an online class, super easy breezy, no big deal. But they're gonna have all these steps that you're gonna have to take. Well, it's perfect for the new construction process. So I strongly encourage you, if you're in a hot market and you're gonna be doing the, the down payment assistance programs, home buyer grants, because remember, these programs are facilitated by a nonprofit or a state agency or a city government agency that has a limited staff. And they've got a lot of people applying for these down payment assistance funds. And there's just naturally gonna be delays when you have that type of a situation. So understanding that is really to your advantage on the front end so that you can go in strategically into this hot market okay. and turn here and focus on new construction where the builder is like, hey, it's gonna take me 90 days anyway. Not only am I gonna get the nicest, newest, okay, but I don't have to worry about competing against Tom, Dick, and Harry for the house that everybody else is going after, right? You have got to be strategic. It's all about strategy. Well, that's what I do here at People First Realty. Think outside the box. Whatever I can do, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Call or text me anytime, and I'll look forward to hearing, seeing you on the next video. Be sure to like, comment, let me know if you have any questions, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you'll know the next time I upload another video. Okay, talk to you later. Peace.